So, buckle your seatbelts in, guys, today, because today I'm going to be talking about something that's very controversial, but at the same time can be considered very, very, very important. Bear in mind, though, you've seen the title, so you kind of know what you're getting yourselves into, but please keep in mind, these are my point of views. I'm not hating on anybody else's views in this video. I am not shunning, shunning anyone's opinions. This is just my thoughts, and only my thoughts on what the matter is. But that being said, how's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Today, as the title implies, I'm going to be talking about taxation. But first, to lighten up the mood, I'm going to give a little backstory on to why, originally, I am talking about this. About a week ago, I was watching in this live stream, getting back in the flow of lo watching live streams by, but watching live, the live stream of D9 Danny Wilson, beat maker for about, I don't know, two, three years now? Maybe more? Holy crap. I didn't really think about that. But I digress. There was a conversation going on in the comments, which I was being part of. That conversation hit a point involving this topic where a user who's going to be renamed, na na unnamed unknown, because first of all, I'm not trying to screw you anyone over. This is not illegal where I'm from at all. It's just someone's personal opinion. The personal said, taxation feels like theft. Prove me wrong. That's what they said. However, again, this is a personal opinion. It's not an accusation of any kind. But I could tell things were going downhill, so in response, I said this. Quote, If only taxation wasn't as old as time itself. End quote. The reason I said this is because of the fact that the more I think about it, taxes have been around for so freaking long. Now, obviously, it's not literally as old as time itself. Duh. But it got me thinking. I continue the quote, and I'll do this if I'm doing, like, skidding things, because I do end up doing this in this conversation. Anyway, I continue by saying, quote, Why do I imagine some random god long before us saying, Here's a good idea. Taxes! Everybody replying, what's that? Him responding with, something fun. End quote. This got the user to smile. I was like, success, let's continue. And I seriously kept going with this. Next up, what I said was literally the statement, total lies, which... I was saying it jokingly. I wasn't serious. Taxes aren't a big deal to me. That's why I said that. It's I can deal with it. It's like, what? Where I'm from, it's a certain percentage that I'm not going to list because it would be different depending on where you're from. Regardless, it got the person to smile. That was enough for me. So, as I said, I continued by saying, quote, total lies, end quote. Now, this total lies statement, I should point out, was me scripting out these other individuals of this god. So that's basically what they were saying. After that, though, yeah, it's not done. I got... I... I would... At this point, I can actually see responses coming from several different sources just laughing their butts off. I'm like... So, I continue with... Quote, Oh, that wasn't the fun part. The fun part is we give back what we took. Then we take what we gave back again. It's like a game of cat and dog, the god says. Now keep in mind, guys, this is just me joking around. I'm not serious. If this is realistic to any kind of government or kingdom that does taxes to you guys, I'm not referencing that. If it is, it's coincidental. That's really all it is. But I digress. That's when I started getting chuckles off of more people. I'm like... <laughs> Success! So, I do one last thing. I say one last thing. And that is... Quote... 
Some random soul says, I don't like animals. Said God throws a book <laughs> at the guy and says, Blasphemy! End quote. And that's pretty much where I leave it. And I mean, the only response that I got off of that, other than a bunch of laughing, is another user saying, eh, it sounds about right. <laughs> just, I couldn't, I couldn't, I just, I was like, I was done. I pretty much spread out the conversation. It was over, didn't matter. There was actually one other thing I said, and that's what the sounds about right was probably for, but I'm going to bring that up in a sec anyway. Because the other statement was more of a serious way of going about it, which I'm actually going to read it off because this is how I'm going to talk about it. This is probably what the sounds about right was for. Last quote for myself. Quote, In all seriousness, taxes have been proven to be very detrimental. And they have. End quote. They have. They really have. I haven't had to do very much research to figure this out. But these kind of things, I've noticed there is one similarity between governments that do taxes, here, where I'm from at least, and live streamers on YouTube who do it for good causes. Using the money to benefit groups who do good things. Now, every now and then, maybe the, the finances don't go towards the best thing, but for the most part, this is exactly what it goes towards, I've noticed. When you, want, when you listen to the news reports, again, this is specifically where I'm from, the U.S., but when you listen to the news reports on this kind of thing and find out where all this money ends up going towards, you kind of come to realize that for the most part, it goes to good causes. It, for example, disability. For those who don't know what that is, it's basically finances from our government that help those who are disabled, who can't live their own. The government has this generosity program of disability uh, to end up helping others who need it. Another good example of this is, well, and this is why I say for the most part, because it's a bit finicky at times. Military. To help support those who are in the military. Not everybody gets to see their family all the time. And for those who don't, well... That money, those taxes go to help support them while they're out. And it's something that, from heart, is a very noble thing to do. It's care hidden in plain sight, in a sense. Now, this is a couple examples that come to my mind like that, that are good examples. Others, well, another good example would be to help fund businesses. Some of our taxes go to help fund businesses that, when you think about it, it's kind of a cycle. We help, our taxes help fund businesses that either clothe us, feed us, entertain us, or shelter us. It's kind of like child and parent, in a sense. The government being the parents and we being the children. Those paying the taxes of the children and the government being the parent who uses those taxes to take care of us. Now, some people don't look at it this way because there have been a lot of... Con there's been a lot of conflict recently, which I understand, but that isn't exactly the main point of the whole thing, though. I'm not saying currently specifically. Now, currently... Actually, currently, I haven't... I've heard more complaints in the past than I have currently, now that I think about it, so, yeah, what I say stands. This money that goes to them is returned every year 
Not all of it, but a lot of it. The money that goes to the government, it's like teacher and student. The phrase of, for those who haven't heard, there is a phrase that basically goes, even though a teacher teaches the student, sometimes the student still teaches the teacher. It's the same kind of concept of these. Even though they pay all of us, in a sense, to do the jobs we do, in return, we technically do still pay them to do their jobs. It goes both ways. It's an equivalent, equivalency kind of thing. But for those who do think about it and get upset about taxes, don't really think about it that way. So, to flip the coin and look at the other side. This doesn't work for everybody. It doesn't. Some people can't afford to provide that kind of finance. Mainly because, well, they try to live their own, but they have so little with them, financially, that they can barely hope to afford anything, and it's honestly upsetting to a very specific degree. It's understanding why people like that would get upset. Now, most of the people who do this don't really look at the big picture, don't really look at what's going on in the whole thing, which is fine, but it, you, that, on its own, cores from, and this is why I really wanted to get into this, because it involves mentality more than you might think, stress. When people f start getting stressed about certain aspects, they'll reach out and lash at whatever they can. And for the most part, I've noticed that is taxes. Very much so. It's saddening, but it is true. Now, I know it's a small piece of the other side of the coin. Like, the ones, there's a lot, there's just a lot more to support this kind of idea rather than go against it. But as I said at the beginning of this video, taxes has been around for long enough to where it can't really be looked at as negatively as other things because it hasn't exactly changed. And if it has, not drastically. If it's changed, it's a minor change. Which is more beneficial than not. But it is what it is. These are my thoughts on taxation. What are your guys's? If you have any thoughts of your own, let me know in the comments below. Um, it was very relieving to me for me to talk about something like this. I don't talk about um, topics that are usually outside of involvement of me normally. But I felt like if... I, I, I got the urge to talk about this when I saw the comment originally. So I did. Let me know what you guys think, as I said in the comments below. If you agree with me, or if you don't. If you don't, leave a calm. But you're more than welcome to say whatever you need to. I'll definitely keep an eye in it and pretty much heart or like every comment as long as it's gentle and, you know, safe to put down there. But it, agree or not, please consider, if you agree or not with what I've said, if you did enjoy the video on its own, please make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. Um, I do discussion and rants like this all the time, regardless of the topic. If you want to check out any more of that, or any topics where I'm basically revealing stuff about myself, click the links on the side of my head. About me, or discussion and rant. I think. But if you do want to check out any other live stuff like skits, like Beer Belly Bob ones that have only two of them, which I enjoy doing on my own, and with others, whatever it might be, or if you want to check out any other live stuff, or any of the gaming content, which is always the second video of the day, which is usually comedic, usually, definitely check out the channel itself. I am considering doing a bit more. It'll always be gaming once a day regardless, up until a specific point, which won't happen for a while, but definitely check out the channel itself. Uh, if, you have, if you haven't done me the courtesy to do so yet, I would really much appreciate it. 
or at least share out the video if you did like it enough. In the meantime, though, I'm going to off. I'm going to quit rambling about the same thing in a loop. Thanks again for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.